what it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It, ashsaidit.com, ashsaidit.com. Welcome to the Ash Said It daily podcast show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,600 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this would be possible without you guys, so I thank you so, so very much. And yes, springtime is in the air, and things are starting to be wonderful, the flowers are starting to bloom, we got some beautiful dogwoods that are starting to bloom as well, and I've got my friend Joanna from ZV Botanicals with us today. Hey, Joanna. (laughs) Good morning. Hello there. Hey, how are you today? I'm absolutely wonderful. I'm here in Washington State waiting for the sun to pop out here in this beautiful spring day. <laughs> yes, yes, it's coming. I can I can feel those vibrations coming for you. <laughs> I do, uh, too. It takes a while out here in the Northwest. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. All right, Jara. So how did ZV Botanicals start? Oh, that's such a big question. But in, in a nutshell, ZV Botanicals was the... Um, outcome of about 30 years of my searching for healing for myself, ultimately, Mm -hmm. at the beginning, and then my two kids who both had um, health issues, one in particular, and then eventually my father, who was diagnosed with stage four cancer Mm -hmm. about six years ago. And so starting in about 2000, uh, 2000, 1991, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, Mm -hmm. Um, very sick for a good portion of my early years from about 19 till 35, and Mm -hmm. found my Myself on various immunosuppressant drugs, um, over 12 years of prednisone, five years on chemotherapy, and finally a major surgery to remove part of my intestines to try to get me to a place where I could eat and drink water again. Mm. Um, all the while, I had, um, a, then later in my life, I had two kids um, during this episode of being ill in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s, and my son, unfortunately, also was born with um, autoimmune diseases and disorders and and a lot of reaction to the drugs that I was on prior to my second pregnancy with my son. Mm. So I started reaching and searching. Um, I'm originally from Georgia, so when I was first diagnosed, I was searching bookstores in Savannah and and, in Atlanta and and around Mm. the state trying to find alternative treatments, and it was very difficult in the early 90s. Mm-hmm. Um, I eventually ended up on the West Coast here in Washington State and raised my children here. And while on the West Coast searching for healing, I got really into yoga and it, it changed my life, which yeah. then taught me to pause and, and meditate and go within and, and love my body through all it had been through. And, and I found the sister science to yoga, which is Ayurveda, which is the oldest medical science in the world. And it literally translates to the wisdom or the science of living or life in balance with nature. Mm-hmm. And, and through, that, he, through that medical system, I found complete healing um, and that, mm-hmm. that was my son. Um, along with that, I was also learning more and more about medical marijuana because, or cannabis uh, but it was, at the time, really being referred to still as medical marijuana, the initiative in California. I was living in San Diego when everything was going legal, and, and they kept talking about Crohn's disease. So I was like, huh, how are they saying it cures Crohn's disease? Because, you know, I had Crohn's. I smoked a few joints, and I did not cure myself. <laughs> um, so I wanted to really figure this out. And I was teaching, I, I teach retreats internationally, yoga, Ayurveda retreats, and now as a certified cannabis clinician, I actually bring it all together and, and lead retreats and workshops to teach how to combine all these different plant medicines and meditations and ways of, of kind of rethinking the story in our heads. It all is combined together with the intelligence of plant medicine uh, to create products for myself. It was really just for me and my family and my neighbor down the street and, mm-hmm. you know, my dad when he got sick. And But they started working for people, I mean, really working. Mm. And the feedback was incredible. And when my dad was diagnosed with stage 4 metastatic melanoma through various organs, including lungs, stomach, adrenals, and lymph nodes, we jumped in full bore because it was too late stage for any type of chemo or radiation or surgery. Yeah. And he was down at Emory University. So we jumped in. I'm like, Dad, how about Ayurveda and, and some cannabis tinctures and medicines and oils that um, we can we can try? And, you know, he's not really open to those kinds of things. Yeah. But he was desperate to stay alive, and, and he wasn't yet even 70 and still working oh, full time. Yeah. Um, 
And he's still alive five and a half years later, and he's cancer-free. So, end of story. (laughs) And so through that, through that, you know, I was making and learning and growing. I live in a a legal state, and I have land around me. So I had alpacas and pear trees, and I'm like, why not throw a few seeds in the ground and start some plants and and learn how to make oils? And and so I was doing all of this, um, also going through a divorce at the same time, and my Mm. teenage son's like, Mom... I really would like you to do this on the legal side. You know, you're kind of just doing this, trying to figure it out in the kitchen. But, you know, I really don't want to see you in orange. And he's a very smart 17-year-old. And I said, good call. So I um, I started ZV Botanicals. I decided to use the best I could find in the way of hemp because um, the grower, my grower, uh, grows plants that are grown as well and beautifully as a medical marijuana, using the term that's often used in nomenclature of plants, with mm-hmm. all these amazing constituents, um, cannabinoids and terpenes. It's only missing the high THC, which is what the government requires. So mm-hmm. I found these amazing gro- farmers and growers and oils and started blending them with Ayurvedic oils and created tinctures, sublingual tinctures and digestive bitters and topical oils and all these different formulations that uh, follow in the guideline and science of Ayurvedic healing. I love it. And that's where we are today. Yeah. So, okay, so to break things down simply, what, where did the name come from? Out of all the names for you to to pick, why is EV Botanical? So, so ZV Botanicals, so it's actually, the actual name of my company is Zana Veda, and Zana is an ancient Sanskrit word for cannabis, another, there's so many words that refer to cannabis through thousands of years of healing, this is a plant that we have used as humans for as long as we have been breathing air as humans, Um, our system has evolved with the plant, and, and in Ayurvedic medicine, and Chinese medicine, Greek medicine, Persian medicine, Native American medicines all over the world, cannabis was part of a synergy used with other herbs or on its own in ceremony, but also in use for making teas, tinctures, oils, um, using the roots for women with menopausal issues, all kinds of ways the whole plant was used, right. the seed for food. And so, and Veda, Veda is the Sanskrit word for science or, or the study of or the wisdom of. And so it's the, the wisdom of, of, of um, cannabis. And it's hard to put all that on the label. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we shortened it. I like to give long examples and, and answers. And, and those around me in the marketing world are like, let's bring this down a notch. And yeah. so that's how we get. And then the botanicals, of course, because it encompasses I have at least 46 or more different herbs in all, if you combine all my products that I Mm. use to balance out the different blends. So it's not just cannabis in a bottle. It's a lot more than that. And a lot of love love goes into this too. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so I want to talk about the different products. Um, The first one I want to discuss is the full spectrum tincture. How would one use this or how does this help a person that may be having some issues? Full spectrum tincture is my favorite product on, in the world as far as making um, using cannabis in a way that's accessible and easy to dose. Because mm. when we use sub when we use tinctures, we're putting them under the tongue. Ideally, a tincture is infused with olive oil or an oil that has good biodynamic qualities, bioabsorbency, bioabsor- so that your body can really absorb the cannabis. Because the molecule within the cannabis extract is is large, and so it needs. It needs another um, fat molecule to help draw it into the tissues. So when we put it under our tongue, we are absorbing it into the subcutaneous. We're getting it right into our bloodstream. Mm. And that will give us a more balanced and even, um, ideally, relief from from this, this medicine. And, and it can be used for anxiety. It can be used for insomnia. It can be used for pain. People use it for seizures and trem- tremors. There's so many different things that cannabis can be used for. I mean, in what it's doing is it's helping your body to take care of itself. It's not like a miracle drug in the way that it goes in and it makes you tired. It makes you awake. It makes your pain go away. It doesn't work like that. It helps your body release the right chemistry to where your own system starts to take over and put you back into homeostasis. Mm -hmm. And tinctures are just a great way of doing that because you can dose yourself. You can dose a dog. For instance, my pure formula, I don't add any other herbs or essential oils. Um, It's just the the organic cannabis in the organic oil. So it's very Mm -hmm. easy to like put on a dog treat or dog food or something like that. Uh, So I love the tinctures. I have three different uh, blends, pure or four, excuse me, pure, as I just mentioned, bliss. 
chill and lift. And so my products are divided into ways of kind of helping. The bliss is more for your nervous system and your muscular skeletal system. Right. The chill is more for your digestive system and, and for your immunity. And my lift is more for your lymphatic and, um, and everything is for your endocannabinoid system. So all of these right. t-shirts are to help your body to rebalance. Gotcha. You can also use them in teas. You know, they're oil-based, so you can mm-hmm. bake with them. You know, uh, I have people that use the pure tincture, and they make cookies, or they bake muffins, or they use it <laughs> in a salad dressing. You don't want to saute your mushrooms in it. I mean, I guess you could. <laughs> but you would destroy them. You would kind of destroy some of the properties. Gotcha, gotcha. What about bitters? What are bitters good for? Because the only bitters that I'm, I'm aware of and I can think of, I'm like, eh, usually go something with some alcohol. But your bitters are a little bit different. <laughs> Exactly. That was a, you know, the bitters were a fun project. And that's actually a collaboration with um, a woman in Portland, Oregon, who makes just beautiful, organic, botanical bitters. And we got together one day and I was like, what if we infuse these? And it's another way of absorbing uh, the cannabinoids in a more playful way. So bitters could be used historically through all forms of traditional medicine as a digestive uh, stimulant. It helps, it's cooling and it helps to, um, helps the body to work with food and kind of feel better before or after a meal. However, these bitters were, uh, for that reason too, but really I wanted for cocktails or for mocktails yeah. as kind of that, you know, <laughs> even though that's kind of a silly word, but, you know, there's a big movement across the country, which I think is great, of less alcohol and more plant medicine and herbal yes. medicine, especially as cannabis has been legalized. Mm-hmm. So what if you have a cocktail with everything but the alcohol and then that little kick comes from the CBD tinctures or mm-hmm. bitters, excuse me. So we have six flavors and um, one is made with damask rose petals, one with uh, pitch dark cacao that's roasted in Portland. We have an orange and clove. Uh, we have a cardamom and lemon and a fennel, fennel lavender and and lime. So they're really delicious. They go either in or not in alcohol. I have a few bars and restaurants right before COVID that we were just getting them on the bar menus um, and these really trendy little places. They're making special drinks with them. So they're fun. They're kind of a thing out here in Washington and Oregon. Yeah. Um, and they'll slowly, hopefully, move across the country. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Looking forward to, to hearing and seeing that trend. I think COVID has like shocked us all into just a brand new reality. So I think people are a lot more open to um to C B D type products like this. So I think that's it's a really um, Absolutely as crazy as COVID has been, it's absolutely like opened the door for a lot of things to happen. So well, you know, we'll take Exactly. It. And it gave people the opportunity to kind of take take their health back to themselves into their own hands again. You know, our tagline is be a rebel heal yourself because mm. it's not saying that doctors aren't important and nurses aren't amazing and, and health practitioners aren't here to help us, but ultimately they're not in your body. They're mm. not in your head. They mm. really don't know your story. So if you can't take your stance, you being the generalized human on the planet, if we, if we, I should say, can't really stand up for ourselves, and that's a lot of what I do as a counselor. I'm an Ayurvedic wellness counselor along with being a cannabis clinician, and I help guide people to talk to their doctors honestly and to yes. ask the right questions and to fire their doctor if their doctor doesn't align with them and to find people that that can find, help them to find the cause of their dis-ease. So why do they have, why do I have Crohn's disease? Why was I diagnosed with thyroid disease? Why do these people, why do people have these issues and how do we peel back the layers of the artichoke, if you will, to get to the heart of the matter, the seed of why you're sick, not just pour drugs on it and then you don't feel it anymore until it explodes in the face. Yeah. And, and that's my passion, and, and I just happen to have products, too. You know, I never thought I'd be a CEO of a company. With, I miss just such a different – I'm a healer. <laughs> you know, suddenly I have all these responsibilities and Zoom meetings and spreadsheets that I had to learn how to read. I'm like, how do you read this? Yeah. I mean, I don't think that way. Yeah, but, so but it's you, been a fascinating journey. Yeah, I mean, you've adapted, and you've, you've absolutely made it happen. So I, I applaud you for that. That's really huge. Thank you. <laughs> uh, next on the list, you you have a salve. You've got a magic CBD salve that I love. It's been a minute since I've actually <laughs> seen companies. Because um, salve is like, it's like an old school thing. But I've been seeing mm-hmm. it come back into style. Like in the last five years, I found a lot of, when I used to <laughs> do events, and we would have a lot of um, outdoor type of events where people would vend and things. Uh, you know, I was introduced to salve. I'm like, oh, wow, this is really good. You know, it's really good for your hands, especially if you're doing like hard work and your hands get really chapped and really dry. 
Um, a salve is really awesome and really good. And what I love most about your salve is I love mint. I love I love stuff with mint in it. <laughs> so as soon as I as I tried it, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. Like I could just feel it just it absorbing. It's not greasy. And that was that yeah. was my other thing too, is that sometimes people will get carried away with, with the salve and they'll put too many oils or they'll just overindulge in one or two ingredients. I feel like this salve that you have it absolutely is the perfect one that I've ever had, honestly. Um, oh, my God, and with thank that, you. Yeah, no, it's it's absolutely perfect because it's just like you don't need a whole goblet. You know, you, you take a little dollop no. with like a finger or something and you just work it into your hands or your arms or your elbows or wherever needs just a little bit of extra moisture. And it absorbs like nobody's business. I'm like, yes, like your skin is like screaming. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> So, um, oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> so, um, well, and you know, it's wonderful. So, it's, you're right. It does absorb well. And that is, that is, that actually is how this, um, ZV kind of got off the ground first with the SAB. You know, I was always making tinctures, but yeah. the SAB was just something I've been making for years, many, many, many different iterations. It's kind of like the chicken soup. You know, it's like, what's, yeah. what's in the fridge for, for dinner? Like, put it all. And so, when <laughs> I started the company and I had to actually, like, forecast and plan and order ingredients and put things on your label. Labels are so important. Yeah. Um, I had to narrow down, like, what is going to go in this? And and actually, my brother, um, I have a brother that lives at high elevation in Wyoming, and he's had um, some autoimmune issues his whole life also, and it really yeah. affects his skin. And, and it's brutal. It's very painful. And yeah. so I was always looking for something for my brother. And and yeah. he swore this was the best stab he'd ever had. And he's yeah. the one that used to call it, hey, can you send me some of that magic stab? Like, I don't know, bath <laughs> maybe. So so for Christmas, I would send him and his wife and his kids all, you know, always a little, like a, a, an Ayurvedic first aid kit every year. And, and in that, I would make all these products for them and teas yeah. and topicals. And, and the salve kind of rose to be the favorite. And and so what he used to call it my magic salve, that's why. <laughs> called magic but it's also great for pain you know there's Um, there's a lot of cannabis oil in that salve you know it's a strong full-bodied salve and the ayurvedic herbs are also very potent herbs so i have you know most of my clients that my repeat customers for that product specifically are usually over the age of 70 to 75 and they are they swear by it and they use it for arthritis they use it for um you know edema they use it on their feet if they can, mm-hmm. and um, and I actually use it on my face every night because yeah. I, I have dry skin, and that that is my face cream. Yeah. And I have a face cream coming with that's made with roses, damask rose, because I love roses so much. But for, for now, I use this every single night. Yeah. I love it. Wow, I didn't even think to use it on my face. Now I'm going to try it out tonight, Joanna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Wow. And, and the peppermint, I'm glad you mentioned it. So frankincense and peppermint are two of, uh, of a few of the organic essential oils in there. And peppermint is one of the best oils for itchy skin. And mm. and, I, and I have a family, my family history has eczema and psoriasis. And so itchy skin is it's brutal. It can it can really, it's kind of like tinnitus. It can make you go crazy in your head because it just, mm. nobody else can even see that you're feeling this, right? Yeah. And, and so the peppermint, if it's pure, pure organic good peppermint oil and pure frankincense, the two of those together can really help with not just the itching, but also the then the cellular regeneration, the healing of new skin cells to cover and to hopefully keep you from feeling that sensation. So the the various layers of the of the skin can start to heal all the way down into the muscle. Yes. Now, last but certainly not least, the the body oil is that going to be on the <laughs> same the same heels of the salve, or is it a little bit more potent? That is so. So in Ayurveda, in Ayurvedic medicine, oil is everything. You know, yeah. our brain is mostly fat. Yeah. Our body needs fat. Our body needs oil to from the inside out and the outside in. And we also teach and counsel that if you can't eat it, do not put it on your skin mm. because you're eating it. You know? <laughs> and most of what we buy over the counter, we should, we would never put on the spoon. Right. And and yet with and and I'm, and I'm not encouraging you to drink the oil. However, but it would not hurt you and it would not kill you. Yeah. <laughs> But in Ayurveda, we, we practice what's called abhyanga, or um, uh, translated like self-anointing of healing oils. And, and that truly is what it is. It's, mm. You know, every single morning, every single day, I, I massage my body with oil. And and it's, it's, um, 
th- there's a spiritual component to that. It's like honoring yourself, yes. but then it's a touch, which we all need. It's also circulation. It's lymphatic um, stimulation. Mm. It's helping to regenerate cells. It has multiple, multiple facets of healing. And yeah. so the three different blends of massage, body oil, bliss, chill, and lift, um, because in Ayurveda, we talk about energies or doshas, and we, each person can, can be evaluated to understand their specific nature of how they were born. You're either born more, more full of fire, kind of, you know, fire and, and some grit, or maybe mm-hmm. a lot of earth and water, or more space and air, more artsy and kind of out in your head. Mm-hmm. And, and those actually have a direct alignment with my products. So if you're mm-hmm. someone who has that more artsy dryness, you're going to want the Bliss products. They're going to be a heavier oil and more grounding. Yeah. If you're someone a little bit more fiery and you have just, you know, those, you're just constantly a doer, a doer, go-getter, maybe maybe an army colonel, right? Yeah. Maybe a lot of um, <laughs> rosacea or freckles or moles and yeah. deep blue eyes. You probably are extra hot. You're going to want the chill oil because mm. it's cooler. And, and the oil that I use and the essential oils and the herbs all have a more cooling and an anti-inflammatory effect on the body. Mm-hmm. And then thirdly, if you're someone who's got more of an earth and water tendency, you're a little bit more... You have a little bit more heaviness to you. You have a little oilier skin. You you don't need a lot of oil. You're like, ooh, oil, I already have plenty. You mm. still need oil because oil also cleanses and circulates. So the, the herbs that I use in that specific oil are more stimulating to help get the body moving, to help break down more of those lipids and fats to get your lymphatic system right. moving. So they follow a very um, kind of traditional line of thinking to how to honor and personalize your individual needs. Absolutely. Jana, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you so much. Absolutely. My pleasure. (laughs) Let everyone know the best way that they can get the products and, of course, to follow you guys on social media. Oh, thank you. Yes. Uh, So ZB Botanicals. That is Z as in zebra, Z as in violin, botanicals. That's the A-L at the end, dot com. And on Instagram and Facebook, we are in LinkedIn, actually, ZB Botanicals. I love it. Much more success to you and your team, Joanna. Of course, you've got to come back because I know that you guys are working on some more stuff. I know you got some stuff on the yes, on the stove are. cooking, Joanna. So you got to come back and tell us about it. We're just putting that out there. I would love that. <laughs> I love that, too. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so, so very much for all of your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.